You know, if you're just like me, then every now and then you have a hankering for something sweet, but you don't feel like whipping up a batch of cookies. That's why this recipe only calls for four, yes, four ingredients. I'm Sebastian Register, and this is Register for Dinner, and today we're making a mango sorbet. So stay tuned. But before we go ahead and get started with the sweet stuff, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and hit that little notification bell and welcome to the RFD gang. The first step in making your four ingredient mango sorbet is to peel and chop your mangoes. Mangoes are kind of a pain to cut because they have this very awkward seed that unlike all seeds that are round, these have this oval shape. So you're gonna to wanna to try to get as much meat as you possibly can without cutting into the actual seed itself. And then honestly, it's right there, but it goes round like this, so I'm going to try to peel around it, but I always end up, see, you can hear I'm cutting into the seed. My mangoes have been cut and I transferred them over to a food processor, and now it's time to add the remaining ingredients, which is going to be a third of a cup of simple syrup, which is just equal parts of sugar and water. Add that in, just for additional sweetness. And just to kind of cut through that sweetness, I'm gonna do a pinch of salt. And then the zest of one lime. All right, and now we're just gonna puree this. Now that your mango puree has been made, we're gonna go ahead and sift it to get any of that fibrous pulp out of there. And the reason why we're sifting this is we don't want it to have any sort of clumps in the sorbet and nice. we wanna make sure it's nice and silky smooth. So I'm just going to take a spatula and start to move it around just to get all of this or as much of the liquid out as possible. And guys, just like that, it's time to make the sorbet. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to open up the lid, and this is just so that you can add your uh, sorbets or ice cream mixture in without having to take off the lid and make it a real hassle. So I'm gonna take this, pour it in. Close the lid, and then just hit start. And you're actually gonna let this go for just about 20 minutes, um, or you can just check on it from time to time and until it's at the perfect consistency that you want for your sorbet. Ooh, I'm so excited, it's ready. So, let's open up the lid, take out that spatula, Remove the whole container from the ice cream maker. Oh man, this looks so good. Get your handy dandy ice cream scooper. Scoop it into a bowl. I'm feeling a little fat today, so I think I'm gonna go for four scoops. Oh. And garnish with a mint. And there you guys have it. An easy and delicious mango sorbet. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Once again, my name is Sebastian Register and this is Register for Dinner. If you enjoyed today's video and can't wait for us to cook something else up, make sure you smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe. But as always, stay hungry my friends.